Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Masterpiece MP12G Lambar Generation 2 version. So this figure is the updated version of Sideswipe, only this time he's done in his G2 colours. Features new weapons, a new face sculpt, and obviously this is the first time we've seen the black Lamborghini. So far we've only seen this as a Japanese Takara Tomy figure, but maybe one day we'll see it as a Hasbro release. So the box for this is pretty much the same as all the Masterpiece cars. And this is the fourth official use of this mould. It was done first as Lambo, then as Red Alert, then we got Tiger Tracks, and now we're getting G2 Lambo. For the back of the box they've actually changed this up a little from the others. We don't see how he fits into Optimus Prime's trailer like we did on all the others. Instead we see the new features, a little picture from a G2 comic, the usual contents and stickers, and it also shows this rather cool looking picture of what it'll look like if you put all the G2 stickers on. He also comes with the usual Japanese instruction sheet. We get a nice little trading card with MP12G on it. And on the back there's his tech specs. And this is his sticker sheet so you can see there all the G2 style stickers. We've got G2 logos and we've got Generation 1 logos if you'd rather use those. Unlike the previous versions of this we get this funny looking gun. Looks a bit like a TV camera. We also get this very chunky looking machine gun. We get this broadsword and we get two of these wheels with spikes on. So this is him in his car mode and this is by far my favourite of this mould. The black colouring just looks so cool especially with the red tinted windows. If we look at the front it doesn't have a printed on Autobot logo you'd have to put that on yourself. And as these are licensed by Lamborghini every little last detail is correct even down to the wheels. The back end is a little bit chunky but it does feature all the logos. I just love how this looks, something about the black colouring is just really really stylish. The new G2 Lambar versus the previous uses of this mould. Now every single one of these bar in this G2 one is a knockoff. Lambar, Red Alert and Tiger Tracks have all officially been released by Takara. But the gold one you see there, that's a recent knockoff MP12J. So like all the other uses of this mould, you can plug these guns into the top of it if you want to. So we'll do this one first, you have to move that little bit out the way and then that just plugs into the top there. Then you can actually take this gun as well and clip that onto the side. We can put this sword on there, there's a little tab there and that just tabs into the side. It's starting to look a little bit silly and if you're feeling adventurous you can even take these little wheels and then clip them in together on the back of the gun like that. Yeah, doesn't look very aerodynamic to me. So let's take a look at the transformation. So the first step is we take these wheels and push them around. Then we need to unhook the front and carefully bend that forward. Then we carefully lift this section up and that unhooks from the back. Then we untab these feet Unclip the spoiler, separate the back end. On the back of each of those there's a flap. Then we take this section and move it around. And the same on this side. And that gives us clearance to fold these legs out and around. Then we move this bit around. And on the other side, these leg sections then clip in under there. And we're making sure that that little red section is flush with that. And then you can bring that bit forward. And again we just close this section off. And make sure it's clipped in there. And bring that bit forward. To finish the feet we fold that up. And bring out the heel spare. Tuck the spoiler in at the back. And on this side, foot forward. Spare out. And spoiler on the back. Then we can bring this little section forward. And straighten out the legs. Next we need to make sure that that section is pointing straight up. And we unfold it from there, spin it around, and then bring that all down. Straighten his arm out, and then if we open that little door there, push on the tab, out pops his fist. So same on this side, that goes up, that comes down and around, and then we just flip out the fist, and close the door. For this back section, we need to fold that all the way around in on itself and then back like that. And same on this side, all the way around 
and back like that. Next we need to fold this section down and then push the tarsal forward and that allows us to use that little clip to tuck that in there. Then for his head we need to flip that bit up and push it together and finally we collapse the back section. So with this being a masterpiece it features a ton of articulation. The head moves left and right and up and down to some extent. The arms turn forwards, backwards, up and out. We've got a turn there and we've also got an elbow joint there. And the wrists do turn as well and we've also got articulated fingers. At his waist we have a turn. At the top of the legs we can come all the way out. We've got forward movement and we can go backwards. On the knees we can go back that far but nothing really forward and the ankles do tilt a little but no side to side. To attach the guns we've got a little groove in there and you can slot that in and when you close the hand it only goes that far on this gun. For his other gun same kind of thing that just slots in there and you can close the hand so far and if you want to give them the shoulder spikes they just slot in at the top and these are slightly articulated so if you want to put them at an angle you can do that no problem. And if you want somewhere to store the sword, you can slot that down his back. Another addition for this guy is the new face sculpt. We've got the big open snarl. And if you don't want to use both guns at the same time, you can take one out. Or you can even combine them. There's a little slot there. So you can plug that in. It does start to look a little bit daft. But that gives you a chance to use the sword. Uh, no tabs on that one, it just slots in his hand. So this being the fourth official version of this figure, I was sold from the black colouring. But it's great to see that we've got some new weapons, a sword, some new armour and a brand new head sculpt. And just for a quick comparison, here's the MP12J with the MP12G. So there you go guys, that is the masterpiece Generation 2 Lambar. This has been Luke, thanks for watching.